Testing, testing, bitch. Let's see if this is working, bitch. Why? Callate. Hi, <laughs> world. It's Jenguin. And today we have a special guest. You've heard her before. She needs no introduction. It's my little brat, spoiled brat of a sister. I'm not spoiled brat. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Anything you have to say to the podcast today? You're nasty, trasty, musty, dusty, crusty farts. Do not talk about my farts like that. Unos pedos. Unos? <laughs> Muchos pedos. I can't, I can't open it. Mom keeps making stinky food. This is disgusting. This is literally welcome. Anyways, if this is your first time, ew. I, I forgot that that was the title of my podcast. Oh my gosh. I was just saying ill, but literally ill for real. I am so sorry that you had to hear that. Hopefully you won't hear the actual pedals because they be nasty. Shut up. She keeps saying she's going to throw up. <laughs> You'll be fine. Nobody died from a fart. They could have. You might tonight, but I don't mm-hmm. know. Anyways, this is disgusting. Okay, thank you. Peace out. I'm never talking to you guys again. I'm mortified. Why'd you have to bring up my pillows? Why did you have to fart in front of me? Hmm. I don't know. I have no comeback for that. <laughs> um. Anyways, I'll probably be editing that, editing that entire thing out. Um. Hello and welcome to Ill for Real, where I guess we're real, and now I talk about farts i've never done that in my life i don't even think fart jokes are funny but <laughs> farting in front of your sister is funny why am i talking about this again i don't know that Dear God, that's all gonna be edited out too anyways hello happy memorial day um how was everybody's day how was everyone's monday felt like a monday to me it is it was, a monday it was pretty mundane it's almost not monday anymore Time's it. Oh, we have one more minute till it's 11 11. Why do I always happen to be recording my podcast when it's 11 11 or on live stream? I look at the clock every night of my life at 11 10, 11 11, and I make the same wish. Don't give me that look. I know you probably know what my wish is. Don't tap my leg with pity. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? Um, guys. I'm so sorry. It's probably been a couple weeks. The first week that I missed the podcast, I was just like had a lot to do and I was overwhelmed with anxiety and I was just very bad with time management. And then I was like, okay, I'm going to post it a couple days late. I'm going to record it tonight. And I just kept like pushing that farther and farther back. And then oh, it's 11 11. Make a wish. Somebody's thinking about you. No. And it's me. Make a wish. I wish I may. I wish I might. I wish upon the time tonight. Um, what the hell are you saying? I'm making my wish. Well, hurry it up. I can't say it out loud. <laughs> okay, good. I thought you were going to say it out loud. And I was like, girl, you don't know how wishes work. I didn't make my wish. I know what my wish is. I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to. Okay, it's made. Never going to come true, but whatever. Um, we're talking a little bit quietly because we're in the living room and my mother's sleeping in the room next door. Uh, Obviously I'm at my mother's house. Um, and yeah, it was just very Monday. I did literally absolutely nothing. (gasps) Oh, I'm covered in bruises. Oh my God. Since when? Oh, my whole body is Did some ghost beat you up in a matter of two minutes, seconds? I wouldn't be surprised if a ghost beat me up, Okay. (laughs) That's kind of how my life has gone these days. Um, so, um, what the frick was I going with this? How was your Monday, Juliana? You know, we always start the podcast with the worst and best parts of your week. So if you would like to do that, let us know. No, thank you. You don't want to tell me what your worst and best parts of the week were? The week? Yeah. I don't remember the week. Juliana, you've never done this before with me? You don't know how this works? Well... Nothing happened this week. Guys, don't have a little sister. Don't do it. <laughs> They're so annoying. Wow. I'm never doing podcasts with you. You know what? You just made one of my farts in public. Yeah, you just farted in front of me. 
Well, it happens. <laughs> Shorts happen. <laughs> Just kidding. Oh. Ew, this is the most disgusting episode in America. Anyways. Anyways. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> Where's the best part of your week? Um, School ended, I think. That was the worst part of your week? The best part. Oh, no, wait. it's in between. You're a weird child. It's in between? You want to go back to school? No, but I want to see all my friends again. Because mm-hmm. I can't. I'm not allowed to. Oh, God. You're not allowed to see no. your friends? No. Hmm. Our lives are not so different after all. Well, you're just, I don't even know what your reason is. Girl, you're so sure she don't even know what you just said. <laughs> what, girl? <laughs> what the hell did you just say, girl? Because, mom, if, a lot of, not a lot, but I have a few guy friends. And mom thinks every single one is my boyfriend. Oh, my God. What, she thinks you're a hoe? I guess. Hoeing around Hammond? A Hammond hole? <laughs> Are you a ham and hole? No. Do not be a ham and hole. I don't even know what a ham and hole is. <laughs> oh, and ham. Do you go to ham and high? Don't be a ham and high hole. Ham and high. Oh, no. Anyways, so the worst part of your week that was school was over, or the best part of your week, you said? I don't know. It's both. Dear God. Okay, what's the other both? Um. Wrap it up. She's knitting, by the way. If you hear clicking and clacking in the background, she's working on her grandma skills, I guess. <laughs> getting, Not my grandma skills. Getting ready to be viejita. Any day now. I'm going to have to edit out 30 years of silence. <laughs> oh, I can't remember. The worst or best? Which one? I don't know. Dear God, okay. Well, congratulations. Her best and worst part of her week was that school is over. She came home very happy, so. That was it. Sure. Yeah. Worst part for me? Gotta get it out of my systems. What, what, what the heck was my worst part? I don't know. I had a pretty good week, I think. Did I not? Is this the first week of my life that I don't have? <gasps> it's a milestone. This is a podcast milestone. I don't have a worst part of my week. There's got to be something. It's probably something to do with the person. It's not coming back to Indiana? Wait a minute. Did you know? There's a bug behind us or something. The wind? The wind? Yes, the wind. Yeah, the wind sounds like a bug. And you sound like a bug. And? <gasps> oh, man. She ruined her knitted socks. That is not a sock. That is literally a pillow. It's not a sock yet. It's nothing like a sock. What the? Um, the worst part of my week, you said, did I come back to Indiana this week? Why are you saying that? Are you saying because of my trip? Didn't you leave Indiana? No, I went to Indy. I can't think of my worst part of my week. Guys, it's a miracle. But... My best part of the week was, yeah, I went to Indy. The very first time I've ever been to the Indy 500. Who'd have thunk I would have had as good a time as I did? Um, And that it was so fast. Those cars drive so fast. Just round and round circles and zoom by every freaking eight seconds. And I had no idea that they drive that fast. (laughs) I sound like literally an idiot right now. Um, I want to try. You want to try what? Zooming. At 350 miles an hour, or sorry, 230 miles an hour, mm-hmm. looks dangerous. So, um, it was a lot more entertaining than I thought. I'm pretty much deaf now. Um, I have no eardrums left. It was the loudest thing I've ever heard in my life. Also, some like F513 or something um, flew in the sky, and I thought a bomb was <laughs> exploding in Indianapolis, Indiana. Uh, then we were being attacked by terrorists, but it was just a part of the show, apparently. I was supposed to have tickets also to the Snake Pit, if you know what that is. It's like an EDM concert that goes on. EDM? Yeah, I don't know anything about it, but my friends do. Um, and so we were going to go there, but um, the person that got our tickets for us like didn't also purchase the Snake Pit tickets, so we just went to the race, which 
it was still fun. It was a great time, but I was a little bit bummed because I really wanted to experience my first EDM concert. Um, I had planned on wearing glitter sparkle eyeshadow and lipstick and fishnet leggings and just like a little thong and like a little booty hanging out. <laughs> I'm a hammer hoe for sure. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I just wanted I just wanted to be a festival girl for once in my life. Live it up. A festival girl? What is a festival girl? They go to festivals. <laughs> so you have to be a ham and hole? Yes. You gotta be a hole for a festival. Oh my God. <laughs> Anyways, I've never been to a concert like that. I'm pretty sure like the only concert I've been to is basically Rascal Flats. I don't know. And um actually no, I've been to Dory Kill. Tori Kelly and Demi Lovato and Rascal Flatts and like, I don't know, Willie Nelson or something. What was it? I think Willie Nelson came out at about like an Eric Church concert that I went to. Anyways, I really I hate- no idea what you just said. I really hate when I have to talk quiet like this in these podcasts because I feel like my voice is so low and raspy and it's probably annoying, but I'm not going to sit here annoying you talking about how annoying I am. We all know I'm annoying, okay? Moving on. Um... <laughs> So we didn't get to go to the concert. Um, the concerts start at 6 a.m. Uh-uh, that's not a concert. That's right? school. Right? School. <laughs> school. Um, no, thank you. I did all kinds of things for the first time this weekend. It was a great time. You were a child, so I'm not going to tell you about everything. I may or may not have lost my virginity. Who knows? <laughs> oh, my gosh. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I wanted to see what she said. <laughs> um... But, yeah, that is it, just, like, insane. Apparently, people, like, park and sleep in their cars overnight, and this concert start at, like, 7 a.m., and then they go to the wee hours of the morning, and the race starts at, like, 1245, and then during that, there's another concert in the pit from a different artist, and then, which makes no sense, like, that you would, you have to purchase seat tickets for the Indy 500 race in order to get into the snake pit concert but it's so much money like our seat tickets alone were 120 and then it was going to be another 80 doll hairs to get into this concert to not even use the hundred dollar tickets that we just bought for the it makes no sense i don't understand it y'all festival holes be wild out there but i am really excited to go to a concert like that very soon um my friend said that they're gonna buy a find um some some fun festivals for us to go to soon so i'm looking forward to that but that was a really good time the weather was immaculate it was sunny but like windy i was freezing my tits off but it's fine it, it was it, it, if it was any hotter it would have probably been miserable i got real drunk i just was sipping those cayman jack mojitos all day long and they snucked up on me we went to a restaurant and I thought it was like 3 in the morning, but apparently we left the, the, the race at like 5 p.m., maybe 4 p.m. That's it. And then we got stuck in some traffic. By the time we got back to the hotel, you'd think it would be a lot later than like 7, 7 or 8 p.m. is when we got back. And I like started getting really tired to go to sleep, which is crazy. I should have used that to my advantage and changed my sleeping schedule and went to bed a little bit early. But... Are you just enjoying knitting, talk, listening to me talk about who knows what? She said yes, guys. Um, so, what was I saying? I don't know. <laughs> Something <laughs> about sleep schedule? She can you about something. Who am I talking to? I don't know. Nobody's listening to this podcast? The, the, your reflection? <laughs> Ew, it was creepy. Um, what was I saying? Oh, we went out to eat before we went back to the hotel, and it was probably like 6 p.m. at that time. I was so drunk. I don't even remember anything. They said I was being so annoying and trying to force my friend to smoke from a CBD pen because he was so stressed out about the traffic. And I was going, um, I was telling him I had just met him that day before or something his name's tommy i was like tommy just smoke the cbd pen just smoke it just smoke it and we're all drunk and stressed out from traveling in the car and he was like no i don't want to drink it or i don't want to smoke it and apparently it was really annoying so then we got to the restaurant and i was so hungry and i just wanted wings and for some stupid reason i ordered buffalo with spicy wings and i don't like spicy food and so then i sat there complaining about the wings <laughs> and the wings were too spicy <laughs> 
forced them. I'm like, guys, these things are so freaking hot. They're so spicy. I can't even eat them. And they bit it. And they're like, it doesn't taste like anything, Jenny. It's just a buffalo wing. Shut up. And they're like, it's not even hot. And I sat there staring at my wings. <laughs> didn't eat them i probably starved to death and that's why i passed out when we got to the hotel so apparently drunk jenny hates slightly spicy food even more than sober jenny i don't i don't even know why i told you that story but it was a good time i can't tell you the other stuff i can't tell you the other things that i did you're just a little girl this is an explicit episode for later we'll talk about She's rubbing her face. Oh my god. So, I guess if that's what you said, like coming back to Indiana would be the worst part. Well, I was in Indiana the whole time. Indy is in Indiana. It's only like two hours from here. But it was such a good fun trip with a bunch of new experiences and two cars crashed and a car flipped upside down and hit the wall and the tire flew up in the air. Did the and car fly? The car pretty much flew up into the air and it landed upside down and they didn't show the cam from inside of his car until like they went and they jumped on top of his car after the emergency vehicle chased after him and they saw that he was still alive. So then they start showing the camera inside his car and he was like nodding his head and giving you a camera. Yeah, there's cameras all inside their cars and around the cars. The race car drivers. Oh, I thought you went in like the highway or something. (laughs) Start talking about cars. <laughs> do, you, do you not know that that's what the Indy 500 is? It's a race car yeah, thing. I that. A race car thing? I don't even know what I'm talking about. <laughs> you thought that I was just talking about a car thing? <laughs> you flipped up my toe. You flipped up. Juliana, now I know why she looked so concerned. <laughs> She looked at me like, did his car fly? (laughs) Yeah, his car flew up in the air. Camera. Oh my god. I'm just confused why there's cameras. (laughs) No, not on the highway. (laughs) Too loud. Sorry. It was so funny. Your face. You look so sad for this person. I got. Uh oh. I told you. <laughs> we woke up Mama Jenguin. Crap. Intermission, intermission. Actually, wait, I'm going to let you hear her yelling at her. <gasps> three times? Mentirosa. She says we woke her up three times. Why is my scare when you don't <laughs> I have mascara running down my eye. <laughs> because you had me laughing about the car flipping on the highway. So? He told us to separate. I know. I wonder if they could hear that. Just separate right now. <laughs> he moved the bed. He woke me up three times. Literally, how? I haven't even farted yet. That's going to wake her up for sure. The whole tsunami. Anyways. Anyways, separate from me now. <gasps> she gotta come out here. She's scary. Um. Oh my God, what? You're looking over there like there's a freaking ghost. <laughs> um. No, a race car driver, Nerda. He was like trying not to hit a car, so he went off to the side a little bit too. F- they're going 200. Do you understand how fast 230 miles per hour mm-hmm. here is? For our hair? <laughs> it was like, it's the scariest thing, but it's so cool. It's it's so scary. He hit the wall, barely. And then his car was going, and they are trying to control it. And it like went sideways on the road. And so then a car was trying to drive past him. And they barely like, they swiped the tires. Like, hit each other. Thankfully, the car didn't just freaking explode. Can you imagine? Oh my god. I can't even imagine if he had hit him head on. If their cars had actually like collided, it would have been insane. But they their tires hit, and so 
the one car's guy just sat there and kind of was spinning and the other guy that was just driving behind him and didn't hit the wall the tire went poof, flew up in the air went all over the fence into the crowd jumped out of the crowd into the parking lot smashed somebody's car <gasps> literally somebody would have died if that tire hit them it was flying and then his car ended up flipping upside down and then ramming into the wall and like sliding and scraping across the wall and so it was his car that they didn't show the cameras of the footage of him inside until they like somebody ran down the thing ambulance or whatever came they jumped in to see if he was like alive or okay and once they get like the okay i'm assuming is what they do they got the okay and then they showed him in the camera like nodding his head so everybody in the crowd was like wow like cheering that he was alive but then he's just like out of the race so poor guy um almost lost his life life for nothing and that happened twice twice um, yeah two different there was two different wrecks not the whole tire flying in the air scenario, but yeah, it was intense. And I don't really remember very much after that because I was drunk. So, any hoodles, that was my weekend. Um, Mom today was trying to wash. You were you were inside with me, right? Yeah, mm -hmm. you didn't see her. She was trying to wash her freaking carpets in her car because um, all she worries about is cleaning 24 hours a day and she had to clean her carpets from her van. And she is the boy who cried wolf. She's always screaming and yelling about something so nobody takes her seriously anymore. She's like, help! 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 And I was like, oh my god, what are you screaming about over there? And I was so excited about my little mushroom purse that I got in the mail. So I'm showing off my little mushroom purse. And... <laughs> And we're like, oh my gosh, she's so annoying. What does she want? We both go outside. Thankfully, we both happen to be outside. And she was sitting on the deck like she always does. <laughs> she's like whining and crying. But then like it looks like she's laughing. So we're like, what is she goofing around about? But then she actually started crying and whining. And apparently, she fell into a hole from a mole, she said. <laughs> There are moles digging holes in the yard, and her foot fell into a hole, and she um, sprouted forward like a bean pole and hit the freaking deck and scraped her leg, and she was screaming, I broke it! Oh my god, I broke it! I broke my leg! And she wouldn't stop crying and, like, holding her leg, and then my panic mode set in, so I calmly asked her if she wanted me to call the ambulance or if she was going to stand up and let us help her walk inside. But the rest of her day was just shot to hell because she couldn't clean her car carpets that I had to clean. Made Juliana stand outside. Me? Yeah, I said made Juliana. Oh, she made Juliana stand outside and scrub the carpets clean while she was sitting on the couch icing her leg that looks absolutely disgusting. Gosh. While you guys were chit-chatting away. I was outside we, cleaning. We were chit-chatting. Sitting in our big fat butts on the couch for sure. And um, Juliana was cleaning carpet rugs. Mom's leg looks like literally a uh, alien. An alien leg that had hot water dumped on it and it's covered in boils and purple veins exploded inside of her leg. It's scary. It's really scary. There's mountains and hills and holes and valleys in her leg now. And um, I think she's okay. She's um, limping around like an 80 year old woman. And um, that was her Memorial Day. It was just ruined because she couldn't clean. And I was like, you know what? You just need to take this day and sit and relax and be quiet for once and just enjoy the holiday week. She's like, I haven't done anything in four days. I had a four day weekend and I got nothing done. I'm like, well, maybe take it as a sign. There's literally nothing wrong with you taking a holiday weekend and doing nothing. She's like, I got to clean the grill and I got to open the pool. I got to clean the car. I got to mow the lawn. I got to trim the tree. I got to like no you could just sit down and relax and enjoy your holiday like a normal person and it took a mole hole to finally teach her that lesson so she sat on the couch and was screaming and yelling as she iced her leg every five minutes and so that was our day um very curious to know what everybody else did today because i totally forgot it was a holiday until mom screamed from the mole hole how was your memorial day Mm, the same. Oh my god. This is why I yap for 23 minutes because you give me one word answers <laughs> and you're three miles away so nobody can even hear you. I'm braiding my hair. Over this freaking air conditioner that has not turned off. It's just blasting. Because mom likes to be a frozen cube in the middle of the night. 
doesn't make no sense. She's freezing cold all day long. It's 80 degrees outside. Like, I'm freezing. And then when it's cold outside and she could have the windows open, she blasts the AC at literally 50 degrees. And she's not freezing anymore all of a sudden. It doesn't make any sense. No wonder her bones are brittle and almost broke today. Anyways, um, I'm going to see if we have anything in my notes as far as games or conversation starters and um i'm gonna see if juliana wants to do any talking today in this episode well i don't know what to talk about or if we're going to bed so we'll be right back after this short message we're gonna laugh i might cry and i'm gonna want to tell you why because hey well that's just life I will have you know that today is National Paperclip Day. Wow. I'm sure everybody was just waiting to know that. What the hell? We're celebrating paperclips now? I haven't. I don't even get a happy birthday for my own friends and family on my birthday, but paperclips get a whole day to themselves. National Paperclip Day. On May 29th, each year celebrates a small but handy invention. Yes, even the paperclip has its own day of honor. That's literally a sentence. Even a paperclip. Even a paperclip and my own best friends didn't show up for my 30th birthday. Anyways, my own mother didn't show up for my 30th birthday. But a paperclip gets a day. I'm now I'm just mad at paper clips. The day celebrates the well-known piece of curved wire that keeps your papers together and helps us stay organized. Well, someone's helping us stay organized, not me, because I don't shit for anybody because I can't even show up for my birthday in a freaking paper clip. It's not working more. Anyways, don't forget to hashtag National Paper Clip Day, guys, on your social media. While many may have claimed earlier invention of the paperclip, according to the early office museum, Samuel B. Fay received the first patent for a bent wire paperclip in the United States in 1867. The original intention of Fay's clip was to attach tickets to fabric. However, U.S. patent 64,088 recognized... What? Oh, it's the pat the 64,088th recognized patent that paper clips could also hold papers together as many as 50 others received patents for similar designs before 1899 one other notable name receiving a patent for his paper clip design julian is literally yawning <laughs> and snorting she's yawning this is how uninteresting paper clips are and even they get a day to themselves the paper clip design in the united states was Earlman J. Wright. This is worse than history class. <laughs> 1877. In 1877. At that time, he advertised his clip for use in fastening newspapers. Do I have to keep reading this? Nobody told you to. <laughs> Nobody told you to. Anyways, did you know that paper clips are not just for holding papers together? There's many other things you can do with them. You want to know them? Unclog a spray bottle. Repl- replace a zipper tab. Don't ask questions. Just paper clip. Make a heart. And that's it. And throw it away. <laughs> Unclog a single serve coffee maker. A hem holder. Oh, that's kind of that's what kind is of a hem holder. To hold the hem on your skirt or your pants. Emergency hooks for broken necklaces. Very important. What does replace a zipper tab mean? Oh, zipper. Like, if the zipper breaks off of your sweater, you can put a paper clip there. Wow, so handy. Hashtag National Paper Paper Clip Day. Anyways, it goes on to talk about early in the war what Norwegians did, but I don't want to talk about this anymore. Are you are you enlightened? No. Are you going to celebrate National Paper Clip Day every year on May 29th? Uh, no. I think that my brain is so dumb that it's literally going to remember that. Every year on May 29th, I'm going to remember reading this stupid paperclip thing. And people can't even remember my birthday. I remember your birthday. It's on pie day. Pie day, pie day. <laughs> you can have pie. I love pie. I love like pie. You don't like pie? No. Anyway, so that was National Day, Paperclip Day um, for you guys. But I don't know how long this is going to be. We can try and keep it short. But something I've been wanting to talk about. 
first of all, something I've been wanting to have an episode about is the freaking, remember, you, I, you, I know you guys remember me keep talking about how I want to talk about the different t- types of intelligence. That would be a good um, conversation for me and Juliana. 100% intelligence. What? I am very intelligent. You're 100% intelligent. Yeah, because I got 100 out of 100 in my algebra final. Congratulations, but we're not talking about your intelligence today. You just said intelligence test. No, I no, I want to talk about the different types of intelligence. But oh. It's very deep, and I I don't we we do. Uh oh, did I delete my notes? We do like to get deep here, but that's gonna be too long of a conversation. So maybe this next conversation can be short, what? shorter and sweet. Okay. Do you know what synesthesia is? Isn't it that thing the dentist give you and knock you out? <laughs> and that's all for today's episode. Yes. <laughs> Welcome to Ill for Real. That's anesthesia. Isn't that what you said? <laughs> I said synesthesia. Synesthesia is... I don't know the exact definition, but it's like when people see numbers and colors and stuff like that. Well, maybe I should look up the definition because we both look confused. <laughs> <laughs> okay, ready? Like those people that see things and are really smart. Synesthesia. Yeah, me. What is synesthesia? Synesthesia is when you hear music, but you see shapes. Or like I said, when you see a number and you think of a color or if you hear that with shapes i could have just kept reading the freaking definition instead of jumping ahead in my brain because the next sentence was or you hear a word or a name and you instantly see a color synesthesia is a fancy name for when you experience one of your senses through another for example you might hear the name alex and you see green no alex Alex is is red red. (gasps) Oh my goodness! We have the same synesthesia wavelengths. Oh my gosh, you thought Alex was red? It's like, why? Why do we see Alex as red? A square is purple. Okay, this is the conversation I want to have. I've tried having this conversation with you before. When? On the podcast? I don't remember. I just remember talking about folders. I think you have amnesia. (laughs) Um, okay. So, yeah, that's the next thing in my notes. It says shapes in color or words in 3D or 2D. Like, if I say the word heart, what does your brain think? Of your face saying heart? You're thinking of my face saying heart. (laughs) That is... Okay, like, when I see the word heart, my brain kind of sees... Square... 3D letters that are And you're red. jumping ahead. You're jump. Oh, that's what you see for heart? Yeah. Square 3D letters that are red? Like, if I see the word heart coming out of your mouth? You're seeing it come out of my mouth? That's what I'm imagining when you're telling me to imagine it. Oh. I see a thin red, like, cursive or calligraphy heart. Like, I see the word spelled out heart, but it's red and it's cursive. Some people, when you say heart, they think of a heart, a red heart. Some people think of, like, what your actual organ in the heart looks like. That thing is ugly. (laughs) Your heart is ugly. (laughs) That thing? That thing is ugly? Um, so you see square, you said 2D or 3D? I don't even know. 2D is, like, flat, like, bubble letters, but they're flat. 3D is, like, when it's, like bubbled and like shadows. It looks like like you know when you draw a cube on paper? It mm-hmm. looks like that. I think that's is that considered 3D? Because it's dr- drawn like if it's 3D but it's not actually 3D. I don't because know. Because it's not actually. I'm confused with 3D and 2D. Me too. But I that's interesting. I don't know what the heck 4D is. Is it so? I don't know. What I, I saw no, 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 no. Too many Ds. Um... Okay, so what color is a square? Purple. Purple? Yeah. A square is red. You're red. Your mom's red. Your mom is my mom. My mom is your mom. 
Remember that one time when I was sleeping and I woke up? Every night? No. <laughs> no. Yeah, you woke up last night. <laughs> when I was sleeping on the couch. And then you go, I don't remember. Shh, mom's going to yell at you. Oh. And then I woke up and then you said that I said, where's my mom? And I did that like two times or something. Oh, we were sleeping. <clears throat> I was sleeping on the couch. Oh, you were taking a nap. And I came in here and I sat down on the couch. And I guess I like kind of woke you up because I, the blanket moved or whatever. And you <laughs> squinting like you like had just been attacked or stabbed in the stomach by something. You look like you were in pain. You went, Where's my mom? <laughs> I just started laughing. I'm like, oh. <laughs> And you're like, where's my mom? <laughs> I was like, she's my mom too. Why are you saying it like that? She's a weirdo. I don't know what you were dreaming. Yeah, I don't know either. You were looking for your mommy. <clears throat> Anyways, when you, you when you hear mom, what do you see? Mom. You see your mother? Like you picture the ivy? No, I see mom's bit moji. When you think of the word or you hear the word mom, you see her bitmoji from Snapchat. Because <laughs> it looks like her. It oh my god. Funny. This world. What is it coming to? A bitmoji. I see like reddish or pinkish bubble letters. Like a big lowercase M A N, which by the way, ma'am, the heart also. The word heart drawn out in red calligraphy is all lowercase letters. That's how I see it. Um, okay, what color is a triangle? I don't know. Wait. I feel like... You said a square was purple. Yeah. I feel like either orange... No, not orange. Only one. Pick orange one. Or something else. I feel like red. A triangle could be red. A triangle for me, I think, is yellow. Yellow? Is it? Yeah. A circle. That's red. I don't know. I think it depends on the situation. A lot of things are purple and red. (laughs) A lot of things are red for me. Which is weird because red is my least favorite color. I think it's okay. I don't like red. It's ugly. Red doesn't like you. Like your heart. That thing is ugly. (laughs) Um, a circle is blue. Um no, a, a triangle rectangle. is green. Yeah, it might be green. A rectangle is definitely orange. The ones that are like this. Do you not know what a rectangle no, is? No, not. I'm talking about the one. I'm talking about what could, the one that's like this. That's a square. No, like this. And it goes Where like the this. top of the square is smaller than the bottom of the square. It's like it's four lines. Uh huh. Four sides. The two sides are at an angle, and they're leaning towards the top like a pyramid, but it's not a pyramid. And it's short. It's short. That's orange. What even is that shape? I don't know. It's not rhombus or something. Harambe? Harambe. Harambe is black. Don't be racist. You don't even know who Harambe is, do you? Isn't it a gorilla? (laughs) Thank God it's actually a gorilla, because if it wasn't a gorilla, you would sound so dumb right now. (laughs) Isn't it a gorilla? (laughs) <laughs> yes, Harambe is a gorilla. Congratulations, you knew something. I know a lot of things. <laughs> I'm 100% intelligence. Um, okay, and so what was the other one? There's shapes. Um, shapes or colors. We did this at school. Do you hear music in, do you see music? Like if you see, see a song, do you see it in color? I see scenes. You see scenes playing out? Like a movie? Hmm. What is that? What about letters? What color is D? Three, two, one. Purple. Blue. No. I feel like, did you know you can't imagine a new color? You can't think of a is new Is it color? can I am right now? I bet it already has a name. Magenta. You can't imagine a new color like it doesn't have a name? Yeah, uh, well, a new color is something that's not discovered. 
or named or whatever. I was, oh, that's so funny. Today I was listening to a podcast on the drive back from Indy and we were learning about color. Did you know that nothing has color? You don't have color. Your mom doesn't have color. My mom is your mom. Your mom is my mom. (laughs) What is wrong with us? Yeah, color is just like, it's, what do they call it? Not pigment. Oh, there's a word for it. It's, I don't know what the word is, particles or something, depending on how the light is touching it. Like, it's light bouncing off of objects. No science. Your cones in your eyes and the poles in your eyes are registering color, but there's no color there. Why is everything pretty color? much in black and white? I wouldn't mind black and white world. Everything is black and white until a light hits it a certain way and your cones in your eyes register it. And then that light is reflecting a color to you. So then how come when I move, the light is different? I know. Color just not- I was thinking of that too. Isn't that weird how like, okay, so that red truck right there. Oh, it's only red because the light is hitting it a certain way and the molecules and minerals and vitamins in it are reflecting the color red to my eyeballs. Well, then how come when it's driving 70 miles down the road, hitting all the kinds of different lights and shades and sun rays, it's still red? It doesn't make no sense. Did you know that dogs are not colorblind? They just see different colors than us. What? Mm Mm-hmm. They see, I don't know how they, uh, how the heck do you prove that? If this dog sees a different color from it. Literally, how do you know that? Who knows? Science scares me. But that's funny because I was going to talk about that earlier, but I was like, nah, we're not going to talk about color. And then we ended up talking about color, and I just heard this on the podcast today. But yeah, color doesn't exist. But that's also why, if you think about it, if you turn off all the lights and it's just pitch black nighttime, everything's black. Everything is black and gray and white. Like, nothing has color. No, that light would have light. What? That light would be red. But that's because a, a different light is hitting the light. But what light is dark? I don't see. I don't know, but you see how over there, like, everything's kind of gray and black and no, white? Oh, I see brown. Barely. If you look at it, it's barely brown. It looks red. It has no color. You have no your mom has no color. Your dad has no color. Your dad has no color. Your sister has no color. You're my sister. Papa's our sister. So that too. means you have no color. <laughs> what is wrong with us? <laughs> Why do we both have a zit on the same exact spot in no, our face? Mine is just a spot. Yours is a zit and mine is a bigger zit. <laughs> I'm literally falling apart. Um this is the world's most disgusting and boring episode I've ever heard of a podcast ever in my life. Thank you guys for being here. Um, but yeah, that was, uh, it's synesthesia, not anesthesia, not amnesia. Um, anyways, yeah. How are you, how are you going to love yourself this week? What's one thing you're going to do for yourself this week? To have a good week since you can't go to school and see your friends. FaceTime my friends. Oh my god. And play Zelda. Oh, she got the new Zelda on the Switch. Hashtag gamer nerd. I'm not a nerd. You're a nerd. You watch anime. And you know all their names. I That's watched... Haruko Tokonokomo. What the hell are you talking about? I haven't watched anything since like Christmas. That is the biggest lie I've ever heard in my life. Other than Studio Ghibli. Studio Ghibli doesn't count. There is a bug behind me. You're a bug behind you. Your mom's a bug behind you. My mom is sleeping. I am hearing all sorts of noises. It's tapping on the window. Ew. A bug? Oh, no, I saw one flying. A bug flying on the window? Oh, it's trying to get in here to the light. What if it doesn't see color? Is that bug colorblind? Are you colorblind? Your mom's colorblind. I'm done with us. I'm done with you too. Okay, we gotta play Word Girl. I can't believe we both said Alex was red. I know. Anyways. Okay, random word. Ready? I think Mia's blue. Like no. the word Mia or your friend is blue? She said. The word. No, I don't know. I think the way her name is spelled is I'm blue. I'm pretty blue. It's okay. Blue. That one song. I like that one song that's trending. That's what I was singing. That did not <laughs> sound like that. What was it? How does it go? Blue. 
<laughs> what the hell is the song I'm even trying to sing? I don't know. It's like Leanne Rhymes or something. I thought it was. I thought it was Billy Joel. Miranda sings. No. Guys, Miranda sings as a podcast. Miranda Mondays. Miranda Mondays on YouTube. And it's the funniest freaking thing I've ever seen. Guys, she put on the best freaking dance performance I've ever seen in my entire life. The footwork on this <laughs> dance performance. Juliana witnessed it real time with me today. And she witnessed her fantabulous singing. And she has a special talent of the most just lovely sounds that she makes with her voice and her tongue sticking out. And she really rolls the R's. I'm talking about a burp. I, how does this woman burp like that? I don't it's, Oh my God, it's so good. If you know who Miranda Sings is and you know what a podcast is, you have to listen to Miranda Mondays. But that's the thing is it's not as funny, I think, if you were to just listen to it. Like you have to watch her she's so dumb i love her anyways um you didn't tell me you were gonna do to you love yourself oh facetime your friends me i'm just gonna slit my throat it'll be fine what <laughs> <laughs> just kidding <laughs> she's giving me a barbaric side eye um, bombastic <laughs> barbaric how do you know what that is? I couldn't remember the word. Because everybody says it. Why? What is that? What is that even from? I don't know. What does bombastic side eye even mean? Bombastic side eye. Well, it's official. It's officially barbaric. Okay, because what I just said was pretty barbaric. Mm-hmm. Call me Barbara. Let's, okay, Barbara. I'm slit my throat. Okay, um, I'm going to. I don't know. Maybe. <gasps> It's going to be 91 degrees tomorrow. I'm going to lay out in the sun and tan and Ooh, roast to death. I'm going to go dig to China. Where are you digging to China? At the beach. I'm not digging to China. We're going to go to the beach in the middle of the day? No, the- let's go in the middle of the night again like we did last time. That was the worst night of my life. It was like the day after the tragic shit happened in 2021 or something we went with my friends and then i told them the whole story of what happened to me while we were all sitting on the beach and you're just a little girl sitting there listening to your older sister cry about how much she hates her life you guys were i don't remember it was the middle of the night we snuck to the beach you're talking about with george and peyton mm-hmm. yeah i just remember the mosquitoes my phone oh, died yeah you got eaten up by mosquitoes and then that's the worst part of summer i remember Going to White Castle. Oh my god, of course I ate White Castle in my depression. And I remember them losing the bug spray, but I found it. And that was the only time I talked. When you, you said, I found it. <laughs> you said three words to my friends all night. Mm-hmm. Oh my god. And then I remember. That's all I remember. This is so boring. It's okay. We're entertaining ourselves. That's all that matters. <laughs> That's all that matters. The people who really love me will be here no matter what. You're the OGs, the real MVPs, the VIPs. POP, hold it down. Mama, I love you. I don't even know what that is, do you? No. I just watched it again the other day on YouTube. It was so funny. The OGs in here and the people who are my age and older don't know who that is. POP, hold it down. I'm legally blind. You're going to wake a wagon. I would not drive no getaway car. How can I drive a car if I cannot see I'm legally blind? Oh my god, it was so funny. I miss those days. YouTube and mine. Anyways, dear god. <laughs> um, Word girl. Ready? To end the episode. This ridiculously... Uh, listen, we all know how boring this is, okay? Just wash your dishes and shut up and listen to the podcast, okay? Three. Two. One. Alex. (laughs) Oh, I have one. Hi. Clear, and I said Alex. Hmm. Because the water is clear. The water is clear? Oh. I think I know what you're going to say, but that's not what I'm going to say at all. Alex and clear. Hmm. Okay. Three, two, one. Ghost. Why ghost? Because clear and a person 
What's a clear person? A ghost. A clear person? Yeah. Mom, she's white as a ghost. She's pretty clear. No, she's white. She's, she's transparent. Clear. You're transparent. I almost said glass. Physically and mentally. Oh, but you said ghost. I thought you were going to say red, but I was like, mm, because we said Alex was red. Um, but I said red. I said, what did I say? What, I said light because I was thinking of like the lights on your car. It's like glass. It's kind of clear. What does that have to do with Alex? Because we said Alex was red. Or you s- Red and clear. I don't know. What? Light and ghost? Light and ghost. I have one. Light and ghost. Light and ghost. Light and ghost. <laughs> Light and ghost. Your There's- bangs over there look like a dog. Ew. There are sounds over there too. There's a freaking ghost in the kitchen. Um. Okay. Wait. What? what light and ghost. I have one. Okay. Wait. No. You don't. Yeah, I have one. I don't know. Ready? Three, two, one. Angel. Bulb. We're looking at each other. Like <laughs> we don't know what's happening. Angel. And I said bulb. <gasps> like a light bulb? Yeah, because I was thinking of, like, Casper. Doesn't he, like, think a little light bulb comes on? Or he has, like, a oh, no. bulb in his mouth or something? I don't know. And a light bulb kind of looks like a ghost. It's translucent and white and clear. You said angel. And I said bulb. Ready? No. Yes. No. You literally, yes. There's only one option, but you could say it a million different ways. You can say, you can say a, 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 a cluster of things a cluster. that will that will count. Angel and bulb. I have one, but I don't know what it's called. Just say it, even if it's multiple words together. Okay. Three, two, one. Three Christmas tree one topper. <laughs> It was technically the same thing. I didn't know if you were going to say Christmas tree or what. You said tree ornament, and I said Christmas tree topper. Yeah, that's what I meant. The one, the ones on the top? Like you angels. said ornament. Ornaments I don't know hang. what it's called. The angel is a tree topper. No, I didn't know. I said I didn't know what it was called. So tree topper and tree ornament? Oh, oh my god. Okay, tree topper. I have one. We can't repeat words. You don't get this. Literally. 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 So easy. Literally. Um, the heck is it? Tree topper and tree ornament. But we can't repeat words. Oh my gosh. I don't know if we already said this. Think of the big. Stop it, Kayate. I don't think it's what you're gonna say. Um. Uh, what words did we say already? Tree, clear, no. Alex, bulb, ghost, angel. Okay. I keep going back to the same thing. Ready? Three, two, one. Christmas. Light. Oh, you already Christmas. said light. See, did I? I, I don't think, think so. I did. I said bulb. I said light bulb. And then no, the, the you red said light. thing. Said you said light. light when I said ghost and I said angel. I did. Oh. Go, to, go to sleep. <laughs> My phone's telling me I have to go to bed. I was going to say Christmas. But I didn't know if I was allowed to say it because I technically said Christmas tree topper. And then I changed it to tree topper because you said tree ornament. Okay, so what do we do? We'll, we'll do a different one. We're on tree topper and tree mm. ornament. <clears throat> Mm. I have one. Tree topper and tree ornament. People are probably screaming, these idiots. <laughs> tree topper and tree ornament. Okay, three, two, one. Decoration. Okay. Oh it's a string of lights to go on the topper. Normally. Decoration. And then you hang an ornament with a string. And you said decoration. What are those thingies called? I know. I know what they're called. Ooh. <laughs> oh. Ooh, there's two options. 
There's two options that I'm thinking of for string and decoration. You got one? No. Not yet? I am, can see it, but I can't say it. You can't think of the word? Think. Do you need to Google something? So you remember no. the word? You're just looking around the house? Any day now. It's the world's most boring podcast. Three hours later. I don't know what it's called. String and decoration. <gasps> oh, we only have 10 seconds left. It cuts me off at 30 minutes now, so don't. Four, three, two. Okay, we're going to be two. right back. I'm sorry. I ate a lot of beans today. Nasty because they just divorced. She's nasty. Have you said that so quiet? I don't know if they could hear you. Nasty. <laughs> okay, do you have it yet? No. I oh know my you, god. But I don't know it. Um, oh my goodness. Okay, she Googled string and decoration to try and think of the word that she was trying to come up with she said it's not the original thought that she had but ready three two one garland what is a garland oh my god you don't even think of a garland a garland is a string decoration literally that hangs on your mantle were you thinking tinsel no i was thinking those things you hang at birthday parties that's a garland no streamer yeah. Oh, I need my other. She was thinking streamer. But I said ribbon. Well, great. Because now I said garland and you said sh- freaking ribbon. ribbon. And I probably would have said streamer. What is a garland again? A garland is like a string and people put popcorn on the garland or beads or. Why are you looking at me like that? <laughs> it's a string and you put whatever you want on your garland. Where? You put flowers. You hang it on your fireplace mantle. Or you hang a garland from there. Or you hang a garland from a window. A garland? You don't know what a garland is? Google it. Okay, Google. You're going to know what it is as soon as you see it. It's literally those two words together. String decoration. And how come you put string decor instead of string decoration? Because I didn't put anything. We should have put Christmas string decoration and it would have popped up a freaking garland. And those are the ugliest garlands I've ever seen. Well, yeah, like a Christmas tree like that. A banner is also considered. Anyways. Hmm, so, garland and ribbon. Garland and ribbon. Okay. This okay. this thing is a... Okay. Three, two, one. Bow. Bow. Yay! We did it! Take that. Good night. You get your toes off me. <laughs> did you think of the bow? Like you could have a bow on a garland? Yeah. Yeah. And For Christmas. A big red bow. Mm-hmm. Oh, I see there's bugs. There's bugs and ghosts. They're coming after you. They are. Okay, we gotta go, guys. Sorry to bore you to death. But thanks for hanging out with me and Juliana. And you're right. Even if they weren't entertained, we entertained ourselves. And it was fun. And I love you. And I hope you have a good week. And I can't stand you. So I'm going to go fart in your room. And leave you a little gift. Don't forget to love yourself. You too. <laughs> She's rolling her eyes. You too. <laughs> Anything else you want to say? And I love you too. And what else did you say? <laughs> Well, I was saying if you wanted to say anything to the podcast, I was like, oh, oh she's telling them that she loves them already. No, so not intimate. them. Ew, she just flicked you guys off. <laughs> <laughs> not to flick you guys off. I just went like this. She shoot you away like a fly. No, not them. You don't even love them? I don't know. Well, they love you. A bunch of people. I guess. People who say, I love when you and your sister make videos together. You guys are so cute. Oh my gosh, I love when you guys make videos and podcasts together. You're so funny. I oh my god, I love when she tells her stupid stories. My stories are not stupid. The pencil? It was very entertaining. Well, because we were laughing at you, not with you. <laughs> I don't think of the other stories I have. 
Oh my god, that's for, for another time. day, three hours later. Okay, love you guys. Don't forget to love yourself. Have a good week and um, um, don't slit your throats. Okay, I'm gonna get back. <laughs> Let me say bye, puta. So do, do, do. Okay, for real.